Hello and welcome to this new episode of Brain and Spine Surgery. I am Dr. Jaydev Panchavak. Today I want to make a video about a very specific question about the suicide disease or trigeminal neuralgia which we have been treating for the last 15 years. So many people ask me why microvascular decompression surgery or MVD surgery and why MVD has got such a high potential of curing trigeminal neuralgia. I will attempt to answer this question. Uh, we have to remember that any medical condition uh, has got uh, different theories and uh, trigeminal neuralgia certainly has gone through a lot of new knowledge getting added year after year uh, over the period of last 30 years or so. Even today there could be differences of opinion amongst the top doctors all over the world. Uh, we have our experience and there are reasons why we actually recommend microvascular decompression surgery and I will try to tell you based on the scientific evidence and our experience. Trigeminal neuralgia is often described as suicide disease and it is the worst pain experienced by mankind. That is how it has been described. People have committed suicide because of this disorder and we have met not less than 5 patients in the last 15 years who have told us that if they were not cured, they were actually contemplating suicide. In fact, one person had brought along with him an insecticide bottle which he had said that if he does not get cured, he's, he was planning to commit suicide. So, in short, this is what is the severity of pain we are talking about. And in India especially, this is not diagnosed for many months. Uh, it is diagnosed either as dental pain or psychological disorder or as a ear pain, etc. And then somewhere it is diagnosed, people are put on medicines. The graph of this disease generally, generally is uh, the one increasing in intensity as the months and years pass. The doses of the medicines go on increasing. People feel that their pain is controlled for few hours after taking medicine. But what is happening during these years of suffering? That's what we have to really, you know, contemplate. Uh, actually, what is happening is that a person is living in a continuous dread of pain. And uh, there is a hanging sword uh, above his head or his or her head. And there is a continuous feeling that uh, this severe pain can come any time as the uh, drug effect wears off. Also, the drugs have their own problems because these drugs, they numb the trigeminal nerve. Unfortunately, they don't know that they have to numb only this nerve. So, they numb the entire nervous system. There are problems with increasing doses of drugs. There are problems of loss of memory, loss of balance while walking. On the whole, the life loses its meaning and the pain which was restricted to one part of face has converted has, has got converted into what is called as chronic pain syndrome. The whole personality changes, interpersonal relationships suffer, the life though at times pain free because of the drugs is not as it should be. So, this is a real problem, pain is one part of it and we have to aim at stopping this negative cycle and that is why we have to choose a procedure which has got a potential to cure this problem. Now, microvascular decompression surgery certainly is uh, the best choice if we want to cure these people provided the cases are selected properly. But the chance of cure is something that we should not deny and in my opinion it should be given very early in the course of disease. That does not mean that it should be given so early that within first two, three months a person should be operated after diagnosis. But when you are sure that this disease is diagnosed properly and the intensity is increasing, then one should not just mindlessly go on increasing the uh, drugs. Also, there are few procedures which are performed on the nerve which uh, aim at destroying some part of the nerve like uh, radio frequency lesioning, which we also do in some cases. We have that in uh, our armament very much. But these procedures are destructive procedures and in my opinion and in our group's opinion at least, 
microvascular decompression is the only procedure which actually removes the compressive element on the nerve and has got the potential to cure these patients. And that is why we advise microvascular decompression relatively early in the course of the disease. This lady was suffering from severe trigeminal neuralgia for nearly 12 years, was not diagnosed for first 4 years and now when she came to our microvascular decompression surgery center, uh, she was in severe attack, she was not able to open her mouth, she is speaking only with gestures and as she tries to open her mouth, there is severe pain that is coming in her cheek. Uh, she is just answering in yes or no, her son who was accompanying her tells us that she has not eaten for the last few days because of the pain she was not able to open her mouth. Now this is the kind of pain that we are talking about. Now here is the same person two months after her surgery and she is describing to us how the pain used to come. She is telling us whenever she used to touch a glass of water to her lips, it used to come like a current and she is telling us that it used to come like a shock. She was not able to eat, she was not able to drink and it was a horrible existence. So this is the power of MVD surgery provided it is performed by uh, a team which is experienced in this surgery and I have no hesitation in uh, saying this because I do believe that the entire team has to be well prepared for this surgery, has to be experienced in this surgery, has to know which instruments can be used. For example, we use microscope as well as endoscope in these cases. We have encountered various variations and in fact classified the types of uh, compressions that can be seen in this disorder. So any team who is very, very well experienced in this procedure can uh, actually give good results. This is my personal opinion and uh, microvascular decompression or MVD is really one of the fantastic options for treating uh, trigeminal neuralgia and indeed the best option in my opinion to cure trigeminal neuralgia. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to know more about other features of trigeminal neuralgia and the trigeminal neuralgia center in Pune, then please watch other videos that I have made on trigeminal neuralgia. We have been performing focused surgeries on this subject for last 15 years. I will be very happy to share my experiences with you, uh, especially the medical students and uh, the people who are interested in the scientific basis of neurology. Uh, please do watch my channel, please subscribe to it and uh, I will be adding more videos on this subject as well as other subjects related to brain and spine problems. Thank you very much again and I do hope that we meet again.